President Obama has made a symbolic gesture in support of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender agenda. When it was announced, the White House had opened a gender-neutral restroom in the Eisenhower Executive Office building. The White House allows staff and guests to use restrooms consistent with their gender identity, which is in keeping with the administration's existing legal guidance on this issue, White House spokesman Jeff Tiller said. The move is part of a wider effort to support the LGBT agenda. On Wednesday, Obama signed an unconstitutional executive order banning companies that do business with the federal government from discriminating against LGBT staff. Obama has also demanded an end to psychiatric conversion therapies designed to correct the sexual orientation of gay, lesbian, and transgender youth. Obama's executive order arrives as a number of states have moved to prevent transgender people from using restrooms based on their claimed sexuality. Legislation in Florida outlaws the use by transgender of bathrooms, locker rooms, and other sex-segregated facilities, except those designated for their gender at birth. Miami Republican Frank R. Tiles is proposing a one-sentence law titled Single Sex Facilities. The bill could make it a crime to use the restroom that doesn't correspond to your gender at birth. Transgender activists have criticized similar laws introduced in Kentucky, Missouri, and Texas. The activists say the laws are discriminatory and have accused lawmakers of attacking the dignity and humanity of transgender and gender non-conforming people. Imagine if you walked into a room with someone and sat down on a couch and that person tells you that everything you believe about your gender is wrong. And the person that you feel yourself to be, you are incorrect about that. That's essentially what we're doing in conversion therapy and that's why it needs to be ended. Transgender people know who they are. We don't need to be told and coached how to be someone else. We need to be supported in being ourselves. Conversion therapy can be called many things. We used to call things like this brainwashing or reprogramming. It's all about making people conform to the way things are. But if society is going to grow, we need to move beyond the way things are to the way things should be, the way things ought to be. The purpose of why we're here is to improve the lives of the American people and to let people know that they're not alone. We care about our young people and we all have a responsibility to make sure that they grow up healthy and that they thrive and that they can reach their dreams. And that should be available to every young person regardless of who they love, what their sexual orientation is or what their gender identity is. And we want to make sure that the help that they get um, along their way um, is constructive and helpful and guided by love and nurturing and science. On the surface, putting a transgender bathroom near the White House may be the 21st century thing to do. However, President Obama signed an unconstitutional executive order that gives him massive leverage over sections of the economy that won't adhere to an estimated 0.3% of the U.S. population. And under Obama's watch, transgender sex education is being doled out to elementary school children, courtesy of the United Nations. The entire LGBT community makes up approximately 4% of the population of the United States, and President Obama wants to roll up his sleeves and take uncompromising state governments head on. Meanwhile, you can throw a dart in any direction and hit a major global crisis. John Bound for Infowars.com.